So how did it feel when you joined Dead Kennedys? Um, well, I had originally gotten together with Ray to do another band called East Me Ray and the Killer Smiles. So we had already kind of had some communication and familiarity with each other. So it was definitely an honor to be, you know, that they, they thought that I was good enough in the other band to be in this one. Um, but it's kind of funny, every, uh, every show just kind of happens as it happens. And what bands should be in the Hall of Fame? What's that? What bands should, what be, in bands the Hall should of Fame? be in the Hall of Fame? So, so far, I think bands that deserve to be there, probably um, The Descendants, that's probably one that comes to mind that isn't there yet. And probably, see, I've, I've, picked, I've lost track who's gotten into the Hall of Fame recently. I know Green Day got in recently. Um, so I don't know if the Misfits have. You know, they probably deserve to be there. And, um, Probably, uh, I don't, I mean, like, did the Stooges get in? Shows I don't how, think so. how, Yeah, I mean, the Stooges should be in there, certainly. And uh, Joan Jett, if she got there yet, that's probably a, another one I definitely want to see. And has digital downloads hurt or helped the music industry? Um, that's hard to say. Whether digital downloads have helped music, I think they've probably helped music. But I think digital downloads, um, and actually what you really mean is illegal downloading, has probably redefined the music industry. I mean, you know, the music industry will probably never die, but um, just probably the simplest negative thing is that bands actually do have to tour more. And one of the things that happens from bands touring more is they get more injuries, you know, quite frankly. Or even somebody like me, uh, we're kind of selective about how much we tour, but singers lose their voices more often because of having to tour more and stuff like that. So it's definitely redefined it, but you know, music will be around 100 years from now. And certainly as far as like free enterprise, I'm sure people will still have music successful in free enterprise. And how about your dream studio to record at and dream collaboration? Uh, dream Studio, um, really hard to say. Probably a studio that could handle an orchestra. And as far as collaborations, um, I don't know, hard to say. I'd say George Martin. I mean, why not? That would be a dream collaboration. Probably more with, uh, you know, I think more about uh, producers rather than other musicians to play with. And what holiday would you own if you could own a holiday? If I could own a holiday, Arbor Day. And what's the craziest fan experience you ever had? The craziest fan experience? Probably um, uh, Thomas Jane showed up at a show. And if you had a mascot, what would it be? If I had a mascot, it would probably be an otter. And how do you feel about award programs, like when you buy a product? Say that again? How do you feel about award pro uh, programs? Award programs? Like the Oscars? Uh, no, like when you buy stuff and you have to buy stuff to like get awards. Oh, you, you mean like points programs as well? Yeah, like how they do with Coke? Um, you know, I guess it makes sense for something like Coke if you keep the fucking uh, proofs of purchases. I guess it should get something. I mean, especially if you think they're so jacked up, you should get something from the profits that they make. And what would you rather own, a castle or a virtual reality machine? I think I'd actually prefer to own the castle. And what would you rather do, fly with the eagle, swim with the shark, swim with the whale, or ride a Bigfoot's back? Um, probably the whale, even though Bigfoot comes in a good second. How about best audio gear to use and best audio gear that will last uh, throughout all the years? Um, probably test cam, except for the past years I've just been using like M Audio and uh, Apple, you know, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And how about your dream music video to make? Dream music video to make would probably be in CinemaScope and maybe have Matthew Barney direct it and, and visualize it. And what would you rather be, a ninja, kung fu master, samurai, or side of assassin? Um, ninja. And where would you rather play, a strip club, mall, or underground? Um, strip club. And how about best experience you ever worked with with the band? Um, probably, I mean, it ties in with obviously the stuff to me with the Dead Kennedys is, is the 
was fantastic. Uh, the Winona Riders um, was a good experience, you know, as the band that I helped found, found find with friends. So, you know, that was a good experience. And how about worst experience you ever had with a band? Uh, worst experience I ever had with a band? Um, I don't want to burn any bridges behind me, so I'm not going to share any bad experiences. And do you think it will ever be possible to go to Mars, the moon, or another planet? Um, it is possible to go to the moon. Um, Mars, Mars, I think, would be a little harder, um, it, it, but it could probably be terraformed within a person's lifetime, whether it be done within mine. And another planet is really only going to happen with some sort of warp drive. And how about best song to karaoke to? Best song to do yoga to, um, I will say any EDM. Any. any. If you were a cover band, who would you cover and what song would you make from any band? Uh, Dead Kennedys, and I would do Dead Kennedy songs. If you were on a private island, what would you need to be happy? Um, uh, fresh water. If you were an athlete, what sport would you play? Uh, frisbee. And your first haunted house experience, how was it? Uh, first haunted house experience, I still have the house, so it's ongoing. If you could control the weather, how would it be every day? Um, it would be much like it is already. How about sketchiest venue you ever played? What's that? Sketchiest venue you ever played? Um, sketchiest venue I ever played was in Mesa, Arizona in March of 2016. And do you have any unreleased songs for any of your bands? Uh, what's that? Do you have any unreleased songs for any of your bands? I've got millions of under. Actually, I have literally thousands of unreleased songs for these groups. And who would you rather be friends with? Casper, E.T., Gremlin, Troll, Cat Dog, SpongeBob, Swarm Pants, Garfield, Scooby Doo, or Snoopy the Dog? Uh, probably Scooby Doo. He watches your back. And who would you rather be real? Godzilla or King Kong? Say that again. Who would you rather be real? Godzilla or King Kong? Uh, probably King Kong. And how about your favorite author? Say that again. Your favorite author? Um, uh, Vonnegut. And if you could have done any movie soundtrack, what soundtrack would you have made? Star Wars. And what would you rather have? A time machine, teleportation device, or holodeck? Uh, teleportation. How about your favorite holiday and favorite Christmas gift and favorite birthday gift? That's a little too much. Um, oh, Christmas card from family. And how about good merch that you would make that'd be weird that you think would sell? Computers. And how about first video game you got in favorite video game? Um, uh, the Atari 2600, um, and probably, uh, fucking, uh, Missile Command. Is that the name of it? And how you feel about poser bands? How do I feel about what? Poser bands. Poser bands? I love them. And do you think social media will ever die? Um, it's already died. And would you ever run a blog or magazine? I do. Uh, what's it called? Um, my blog. And your favorite anime? Um, favorite anime, uh, is probably still Kimba the White Lion. And how about your longest recording session? My longest recording session was two days, and it was miserable. And who recorded, uh, the music for Den Kidneys, and who did the artwork? What's that? Who recorded the music for the CDs that you were featured on? Um, the, um, uh, to, to, it was, uh, the East Bay Ram, The Killer Smiles, was done by uh, Paul Leary of Butthole Servers. And how about the artwork? Uh, the artwork was done by some dude. Some dude. I can't remember his name. How about your once. favorite school subject? My favorite school sh subject was pre-calculus. And how about first local band you saw and first band shirt you got? Green Day. And name of the first song you ever made? The name of the first song I ever made was I Hate You. And on tour, do you guys ever ball or laser tag or nerf battle? Um, no. And what's your dream session to make, like in any country that's not America? Dream session um, in Russia with the Russian Philharmonic to cover songs by Agent Orange. If you met a genie, what would your one wish be? Uh, 20 wishes. And what would you rather have? All the money in the world, the nicest cars, or gold? Um, I would want gold, obviously, because then I could convert it to cash to get the best cars. And 
Where would you say that bands make the most money on these days? Uh, these days, they probably make money from merch during tour. If your life were like a movie, what movie would it be? Um, this one right here, which is a bizarre Philip K. Dick virtual reality movie. If someone cloned you, what would you do to the clone? Uh, I'm doing it because I am the clone already. I'm late with the DK. And what would you rather own? A zoo, club, mall, restaurant, travel agency, or Playboy Mansion? I would want to own the shopping mall because you could have all of those in it. Are you a Star Trek fan or Star Wars fan? Um, after many, many years, I'm probably now more a Star Trek fan. Who's your favorite character? Um, Picard. And you have anything with sentimental value? Um, not that I would tell anyone. And current music you're listening to? Um, current music I'm listening to is reggae. Uh, like what bands? Um, reggae Nation. And if you could wear merch for the rest of your life for any band, what band would it be? Dollskins. Worst fear in near-death experiences? Um, that I would have an endless interview in Mesa, Arizona. And first vinyl and first cassette tape you got? Uh, first vinyl, I think, uh, depends. It was either Disneyland's Pinocchio or uh, Rocket to, um, I mean, uh, Road to Ruin by the Ramones. And first vinyl? Yes, first vinyl, all the way back to being a kid. And cassette tape? Uh, cassette tape, I think, was actually Tony Orlando and Yawn. How about your favorite national monument you've ever seen? Uh, that I've never seen? That, that you've seen. Oh, that I've seen? Uh, probably Empire State Building. How about that the counts. first thing you saved up for? Uh, the first thing I saved up for was probably that Road to Ruin record by the Ramones. Are you inspired by any books, video games, movies, TV series, or comic books? Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. First toy action figure you got? Uh, was a Micronaut. And do you think that you'll you ever record an album with Dead Kennedys? Um, that always remains to be seen. Your favorite food, favorite color, favorite snack, and favorite soda? Oranges. And uh, color? It's all there. Think about it. And your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is probably roller derby. And how about something that you collect? Um, so I used to collect comic books. Your favorite Halloween costume you dressed up as? Uh, Elton John, and I won a prize for dressing up as Elton John. And your favorite lead singer of all time? Uh, the Morrissey. Hey, well, thank you. Thank you.